problems students let's concentrate on problems for final exam second puc physics let us concentrate on 45th question so usually 45th question comes from first chapter or second chapter so let us cover few problems few most probable problems from these two chapters okay electric charges and fields electric potential and capacitors done so be ready with paper calculator first copy the problem please copy the problem after that the solution done shall we start you start after copying the problem done two small metal spheres are charged so that they ripple each other they ripple each other means force don't forget to write the formula because without formula if you try to solve you won't get marks so here it is for formula force force equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q1 q2 by r square so for formula we get one mark done repel each other with a force of 2 10 to the power of minus 5 newton the charge on one sphere is twice that on the other fine so let us write the numbers let us substitute force is 2 10 to the power of minus 5 this is constant first charge is q second charge is 2q because it is mentioned one charge is twice the other and distance r it is r square r square it is force inverse square law now when they are moved 0.1 meter further apart when they are moved 0.1 meter further apart constant k q 2q same two charges but distance becomes r plus 0.1 when distance is increased by 0.1 meter the force reduces to 1 10 to the power of minus reduces to reduces to means this is the final force 10 to the power of minus 5 newton what are the charges what are the charges what is the initial separation between them charges and distance done now here is equation 1 equation 2 equation 1 equation 2 next step let us divide this by this 2 10 to the power of minus 5 by 10 to the power of minus 5 constant q 2 q by r square constant q 2 q by r square here constant q 2 q by r plus 0.1 square now constant q 2 q get cancels this goes to numerator this get cancels it is 2 equal to r plus 0.1 square this goes to numerator and r square by r square now there is square take square root taking square root this becomes root 2 this becomes r plus 0.1 by this is r now take this to the side 1.41 r equal to r plus 0.1 now r bring this to this side this gives just 0.41 r equal to 0.1 or r equal to 0.1 by 0.41 therefore r equal to don't be hurry try to write neatly so try to explain in the sense don't try to cut short the steps if steps are clear to you then after solving the problem you can come back and check if something is wrong if you have not written steps properly 
then there won't be anything to check isn't it so make sure that you write neatly now it is 0 0.1 by 0 0.41 0 0.1 by 0 0.41 turns out to be 0 0.24 0 0.24 meter now we have to find charges we have to find charges using this e r so let us take equation one equation one is now equation one is 2 10 to the power of minus 5 equal to constant is 9 10 to the power of 9 charges 2 q square by distance square distance square is 0.24 square now q here is q so 2 2 get cancels 2 2 get cancels 10 to the power of 9 it comes to denominator goes to numerator minus 9 minus 5 is minus 14 then this goes to the other side 0.24 square by 9 equal to q square now simplify don't find out 0.24 square since it is q square just take square root so q turns out to be q equal to square root of this is 0.24 square root of 9 is 3 this is 10 to the power of minus 14 it is minus 14 minus 14 becomes minus 7 so 0 0.24 by 3 0 0.0 8 10 to the power of minus 7 or 8 10 to the power of minus 9 coulomb this is q what are the charges two charges one is q the other one is 2q now let me make some space let me raise this 3 point charges each 4 nano coulomb are placed at 3 corners of a square of side 2 cm. Find the electric field intensity at the 4th corner. Done. Electric field intensity. First let us write the formula. E equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q by R square. Formula will get 1 mark. Done. Next diagram it is a square with 3 charges students use scale pencil eraser and draw neatly ok done so this is the square a b c and this is d charges are at a b c let us keep charges at a b c ok this is 4 nano coulomb 4 nano coulomb 4 nano coulomb now because of this 4 nano coulomb electric field at this point is away so this is e1 since it is positive charge electric field is away because of this 4 nano coulomb electric field is away along the diagonal this is e2 now because of this 4 nano coulomb electric field is away so this is e3 so first step let us find e1 e2 e3 next second step let us find the resultant of e1 e3 third step final answer electric field at this point due to charge at a electric field at d due to charge at a denoted by e1 9 10 to the power of 9 constant charge is 4 nano 4 nano by distance square this distance is 2 centimeter this is given 2 centi students don't forget centi okay and then square 
2 square 4, 4, 4 gone, minus 9, plus 9 gone, 9, 10 to the power of, minus 2 into 2 is minus 4, goes to numerator, plus 4, 10 to the power of 4, Newton per coulomb, this is E1, and direction of E1 is along AD, along AD. Fine. Now, electric field at this point due to that charge. Electric field at D due to charge at B. E2 equal to 9 10 to the power of 9. Charge is 4 nanocoulomb. Ah, students, be careful with the distance. This distance is different from this distance. Whenever right angle triangle problem or square problem is given, make sure that you consider the diagonal. Okay. Now, diagonal, this is 2 centimeter, 2 centimeter. Therefore, this is 2 root 2 centimeter. In scheme of valuation, if they allot one mark to this, we may lose this mark. So that's why, please write, I want BD. So BD equal to root of AD square plus DC square. AD square plus DC square. Which is equal to root of 2 square plus 2 square equal to 2 root 2, 2 root 2 centimeter. So, this is BD. Now, if there is one mark allotted, we get that one mark. So, let us substitute this 2 root 2 here. 2 root 2, 10 to the power of minus 2 square. Now, compare these two. Constant charge 2, 2, root 2 is extra. Root 2 square is 2 means this divided by 2. So, we get 4.5 10 to the power of 4 Newton per coulomb along direction of E2. Okay. Direction of E2 is along BD. Along BD. Now, we have E2. Similarly, let us find E3. E3 is because of this charge. Electric field at D due to charge at C. E3 equal to 9 10 to the power of 9. See, charge this distance 4 nano. Students, please copy simultaneously. Nano, 2 nano. 2 10 to the power of minus 2 its square equal to this is same as this 9 10 to the power of 9 9 10 to the power of 4 Newton per coulomb along just check the direction along CD along CD now let us find the resultant of E1, E3. These two are vectors and they are mutually perpendicular. Therefore, resultant of E2 and E3. Complete the parallelogram, draw the diagonal. Let us use some notation. So, this is E dash. So, resultant of E1, E3 gives E dash. Okay. Resultant of E1 and E3 is E dash equal to 9 10 to the power of, sorry, its resultant of these two, root of E1 square plus E3 square. Of course, 2E1 E3 cos theta. But in this case, theta is 90 degree, isn't it? Theta is 90 degree, 90 means cos 90 is 0. 
drop it. Since these two are mutually perpendicular, hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is E1 square plus E2 square under root. The E1 is 9 10 to the power of 4 square plus E3 is also 9 10 to the power of 4, 9 10 to the power of 4 square equal to same value 2 times means take 9 10 to the power of 4 common factor into root 2 into root 2 so this turns out to be this turns out to be i have calculated please use calculator 12.69 12.69 10 to the power of 4 Newton per coulomb and E dash is along D B D along B D. Students, please take calculator, regular calculator, the one you carry to your examination center. Okay. Use that calculator, type 9 into 1.41 and get this answer. Make sure that you type and get the answer. You calculate. Okay. That gives you confidence. Trust me. That gives you confidence. So, direction is along BD. Now, we should find the resultant of E2 and E dash. These two are in the same direction. Resultant of resultant of E2 and E dash is E which is equal to 9 10 to the power of 9 E2 and E dash E equal to these two are in the same direction therefore E dash plus E2 E dash is E dash is 12.69 10 to the power of 4 plus E2 is this is E2. E2 is 4.5. 4.5 10 to the power of 4. So, total 17.19 10 to the power of 4 Newton per coulomb unit with appropriate unit and also the direction direction of these two is again along BD along B D look at the problem find the electric intensity at the fourth corner electric intensity is a vector quantity so it is your job to mention both magnitude and direction okay so copy this neatly copy diagram neatly since vectors are involved Take care of arrow marks. 